Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about a little gem that I discovered. Let me go ahead and jump in and tell you exactly what it is. It's by the Paula's Choice um, skincare line and it's the Resist line and it's a weekly resurfacing treatment, 10% AHA. It says it's for all skin types and of course it has glycolic acid in it as the third ingredient. It also has a lot of antioxidants in it and a lot of skin soothing ingredients and so I'm a little bit obsessed with this product right now, so let's go ahead and jump in and let me tell you all about it. Okay, so first of all, I'm not sure why it's taken me so long to try out some of the products from the skincare line. Uh, I actually reference the Paula's Choice Ingredient Dictionary probably every day, definitely every week. And it's she has this team that goes out and they really try to collect a lot of research and a lot of data to try to figure out what ingredients are best to be putting on our skin and which are the most effective, which ones cause irritation, which ones are just absolutely no good to be putting on our skin no matter what, uh, which combination you know is best for our skin. And so I'm always referencing that ingredient dictionary. I'm also referencing her Beautypedia. I'm gonna go ahead and put some links to those in my description box because they're really good resources to kind of gauge whether what you're purchasing is something that is good for your skin or not good for your skin. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this product. This product contains 10% glycolic acid. Uh, as most of you know, and I've probably mentioned it and described it many, many times on my channel, glycolic acids for me are just right up there with the retinols and the vitamin A derivatives. I am just really, really, really starting to love glycolic acid. Now, if you have oily skin, you will probably prefer salicylic acid because it's supposed to really work with oils. And she does have a weekly resurfacing that contains salicylic acid instead of glycolic acid. So just in case you're interested and you do have oily skin, you might be better off uh, purchasing that one. I'm gonna purchase it anyways because I love salicylic acid also. There are certain times where I might have a little breakout and I kind of have, you know, pores that I'm constantly wanting to address, especially right around, you know, my nose area. So. Um, salicylic acid is supposed to be really good for cleaning out those pores. Now this is a weekly resurfacing treatment. She does have a daily resurfacing treatment and that includes 5% glycolic acid and I'm definitely going to purchase that one because I purchased this knowing that I was going to use it more than once a week and I know my skin is tough as nails. I know Usually I know where I can push my skin to what limits and stuff, but typically the way that I figure that out is that I will take something like this that's supposed to be used weekly and I'll use it every day until my skin says, mm -mm, you've gone too far, you know? And that's exactly what happened with this because I decided, you know what, if it's good weekly, it's probably even better daily, you know? And I know how much my skin can tolerate. So I used it for maybe five days in a row. And by that fifth day, I did have a lot of peeling and scaling and stuff like that. So I, I scaled it back because uh, that wasn't what I was looking for. I actually have my Retin-A to do that for me. So I just wanted something that was mild and gentle, but that I knew was going to be encouraging cell turnover. Clearly, if I use this three or four days in a row and I get peeling at the end, it's definitely encouraging cell turnover. Obviously, I'm not gonna get that if I'm just using a moisturizer, you know what I mean? So the reason I'm really loving these glycolic acids is because they're really good about just dissolving those dead skin cells that are sitting on the surface of your face, not allowing for your other ingredients in your other products to penetrate deeply where they need to be in order to do some repair. I've probably said that so many times in so many videos because I am, I think probably one of the best things that you can do for your skin aside from wearing sunscreen is to exfoliate. I think the more, not the more, because you don't want to, you can over exfoliate and you can do more harm than good if you do that way. And which is why you always need to experiment with your skin, know what your skin can tolerate, know when your skin looks best. I know for me, there have been times where I have laid off products that contain glycolic acid or Retin-A and stuff like that. And I just watch my skin become dull and lifeless and without a glow whatsoever. I am just looking in the mirror going, wow, have I really aged this much? You know, I'm in my mind, I'm just aging. Once I throw on some Retin-A and or throw on some glycolic acid and I allow myself to go through that little shedding process, suddenly my skin is just looking, has that glow again. It's got that rosiness. Um, it's got almost a, a shininess and a tightness to it too, which I absolutely love. And that is what I've noticed with this. Whenever I use this, the next morning, literally like the next morning, 
I look in the mirror and I'm like, wow, my skin looks so good. And like I said, I did start out using it every day and then realized by day four or five that it was too much for me um, because I wasn't looking for that peel. So I scaled it back. I can use this every other day. Now it does say you're supposed to use it weekly. I have read somewhere and I don't remember where that you can use it more often, um, but you just have to acclimate your skin to it. My skin seems to acclimate really, really easily. At first there was a stinging, um, and especially if you put it on your skin, maybe the day after you've shed from like Retin-A or something like that, there's definitely gonna be stinging. But with every use, I feel like my skin has just acclimated, so now there's almost no stinging at all. Okay, so let me just tell you a little bit about this. Now, it does have a very watery consistency. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> Oops, see, I don't want to waste it. No, that just went on the side of my hand. Um, now, it does have a watery consistency. What's amazing about this, and I don't know if you can see this. Now, what's amazing about this is that it goes on kind of like a serum, just a very, very lightweight, watery consistency. Um, and when it dries, you expect it just to kind of dry and evaporate, but it doesn't do that. When it dries, you're left with skin that feels very, very moisturized to the touch. It's just amazing. I'm really shocked about this. Now, it says you can leave it on for 10 minutes and wash it off, or you can just leave it on overnight. I always choose to leave it on overnight, but I wait at least 10 minutes to let it do its work, and I will apply products after that. So what I do is I usually wash, cleanse, tone my face. Then I will go in and apply this to my face, leave it on for 10 minutes, and then go on with the rest of my skincare. I do have a um, skincare routine video coming up. I'm gonna have obviously two, because there's an AM and a PM, and uh, those will be coming up here real soon. I'm about due for those. So that's pretty much it. This is just a product that I'm really kind of obsessed with right now. I have seen a definite change an improvement in my skin. Now I do plan on trying some other Paula's Choice skincare products because this is the first one I've tried and I'm so in love with it that I'm like, what have I been waiting for? I don't know, it's just so silly. But I'm definitely gonna get the daily um, AHA 5% exfoliator and then I'm also gonna get the salicylic one and then I'm gonna kinda go from there because I love, you know, I love my acids, I just do. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna put a lot of information in the description box below. I'm also gonna put, um, you know, reasons why glycolic acid is good for your skin and then a lot of links to, you know, just articles and stuff about um, glycolic and skincare. So anyways, thank you for watching. I appreciate it and I will see you next time.